Hey, welcome back to the Tinkerage. You've just seen the some of my tools rolled out on my patio table. I uh, spent an hour this morning doing that, and a little bit this afternoon. But I think I may have opened a can of worms. Knowing the tools made me realise that A, I've got to get rid of some tools, and that. I don't know, that's something I just find really, really difficult. I guess I'm, I'm a hoarder by nature. But the that's not really the can of worms. That is something I've got to deal with, and I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll manage it. Although I'm, I'll try and find a way where I'm not wasting the tools. A lot of them aren't really suitable for passing to a school. Not sure how many of them I could pass on to another maker. I'm not sure if there's makers who might not need who would need them. Not the sorts of things, not kind of not very good screwdrivers and, and the like. So I may just have to bite the bullet and scrap them. But the beer can of worms was I realised that even with getting rid of some of those tools, I'm still going to be struggling for space. And not a surprise really given the size of the tinkerage. Then I had a bit of an idea, and I've moved my power supply. So the big power supply, which was coming out to about here, taking up probably about a, a quarter of the depth of the bench on this side. I've taken it out. It needed cleaning behind. It was quite disastrous. I, I put a quick story up on my Instagram feed which if you're watching this more than 24 hours after I recorded this, uh, which is mid-Sunday afternoon, uh, you probably won't see, but lots of sawdust behind it. Not, again, a surprise. And I got to thinking, the it's a piece of equipment that I, I salvaged from being thrown out. It had to be fixed a little bit because it wasn't working. But then I was thinking about how much I actually use of it. It has two double socket so effectively it's a four gang extension but i think i've only really used one of them once and it wouldn't be difficult to just add a little extension spur or just a, an extra part of the ring main in here so i may look to get that done uh, to add an extra socket and there's a limit of 10 amps in total of all four so it's okay for smaller items, lamps, but not really bigger items. There were two soldering iron, 24 volt soldering iron connections for soldering irons that I don't have. So the only thing I really used it for was the digital voltmeter. I have other multimeters and actually the sort of digital variable supply. So I'm actually thinking but I might cannibalize it and put the electronics for the DVM and the variable power supply into a different enclosure, perhaps one that's mounted higher up. It'd certainly be a lot smaller and save well over a meter length that's taken up a quarter of my bench. So that's that's going to be a job. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do that. Just looking at the bench now with the full scope of space, I think it's it's going to be worth doing. And that will then free up. I'll need to make sure I cover these cables. Uh, and do that in such a way that they're not going to be at risk of having screws put through them. And I think once I've done that, it's going to give me here significantly more tool storage space. And the space is a premium. I think that's that's got to be worth doing. It's, it isn't. Another thought is that it isn't the only power supply that I have. I have sit down on the floor at the moment. This is a, an old Radford lab pack. 
Uh, they're considered no longer safe for use in schools. Partially just for 300 volt supply. So again, salvage that from going into a skip. It does, it is variable. Uh, just, it's stepped variable rather than continuous variable. But actually for most of what I want to do and, and do do, do I need anything other than the, the steps that are there? Probably not. So it might be that I actually incorporate that. It's a little bit taller. Depth is about the same. But potentially a little bit more versatile. Given that it can go to 300 volts. Now, the problem I've got at the moment is 20 past 4 on a Sunday evening. Pretty cold. I've had to dig out my Minecrafting mug that I want from Makes International. And all my tools are outside. Partially knolled. Although I was doing it on a live feed this morning. And what I realised once I switched off the live feed was that I'd mixed two of the squares up. So I was putting things thinking they were going to go in this space, whereas actually it was the space over there that they were going to be fitting into, and vice versa. But it did get me thinking, it's going to take more thought. I'm going to, I've videoed it, I'm going to take some photographs of it as well. So now I just need to think about why I'm going to put all those tools so that I can work on this over the next week. As Jim Dockwell said, I'll finish this and then it'll probably be time to start again. I think, it's, it's, I think that's often the way with makers, isn't it? We we have a space. And I don't I know, actually, I don't know if that's true. Maybe certain types of makers. I know people who have had the same space for a very long time. All they do is just cram more and more stuff in. But I think, yeah, I've opened up a can of worms. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with it. Because I want this space to be really usable. So at the moment, I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do about the tools outside. Because ideally I need to keep this space here clear to be able to work on it. I've got one empty tub. No, actually I haven't. So I've taken some of the tools that were over there and I've put them into the blue tub here, which is full of tools that I emptied this morning. And all the bits and bobs that were in the white tub that was underneath is now, and the tools are out on the desk, but the, just the general crud that we accumulate um, is now in the, in the clear tub. So I've got no empty tubs. I've got a partially empty drawer. So I think a lot of them could go into the drawer. I might empty out the remains in the drawer into one of the tubs. Because again, it's mostly stuff that probably ought to go. I'll need to then look at getting the electric sorted out. I might look to get that because I've, if I'm not going to have that power supply in here, I might lower it down. I might then look to get a second plug put over there better serve the computer. Yes, but it might be with that power supply. Oops, lighting. I need to get better lighting in here. I do apologise for the poor quality of the lighting on these vlogs. It is something that I've noted. Um, I did, I used to use, used to have, well, I still have this video light, uh, which I had when I bought my first DSLR, came in a, in a pack. Unfortunately, uh, I had a battery leakage in it and that stopped working. So I need to rip that open and, and sort out. I think it should be fairly easy to sort out. And maybe at some point, I'm, if I can find some pennies at some point, I will 
look to replace the lighting in here. Need something more diffuse. And I also need something that gives better kind of video lighting. Yeah, I don't know what much else to say. I kind of, I've made, I feel like today I've gone one step forward and five back. But I guess that's just, just the way things go. Right, no point moaning on about it. I shall uh, have to put in some quick, let's get this tool sorted out before it gets dark into action. So tune back in in the week, see what progress has been made. And uh, other than that, bye for now.